And now, with all the introductions done, I'd like to take a moment to shift gears and pause for a moment of collective consciousness with our artistic guide, Severin Blake. Severin is a writer, artist, and facilitator of the healing arts. Severin's work interrogates language and imagery, excavates ancestry, and strolls with a Junjian shadow. They facilitate healing one-on-one -on -one and with groups of people by asking deep questions and getting folks grounded in their bodies. As a writer, they have self-published design, they're drafting their first picture book and have a dream to create a cartoon series. In addition to their work, Severin has appeared on stage screen with over 30 theater companies and is a company member of the Applied Mechanics Theater Company, very aptly named for uh, this audience. Severin, the virtual stage is yours. Let us begin. We gather today in celebration of engineers who have taken impossible dreams, no matter how unconventional, and made them into reality. My name is Severin Blake, and today I am calling in from the unceded ancestral homelands of the Lenni Lenape, also known as Philadelphia. We welcome into the space dreamers, engineers, developers, speakers, innovators, collaborators, ancestors, AI, and every form of human or lovable, furry, scaly, plant-based, and planetary being. We are here to celebrate change. We are in motion, ever ebbing, ever flowing. My name is Severin Blake, pronouns they, all, we, and we all, even you, there are invited to take a deep breath as we get into it. Into what, you may ask? Let us get grounded and human-centered in this reality. Let us celebrate the birthright of breath. All the way down to your belly. Are you ready? One, two, three. You might feel fluid in your tummy rumbling, and that's good. It means something's changing. Change. We speak and act not from a space of shame about our collective past, but of understanding our privilege and by doing what we can with what we have from where we are now for change. Our defining property is fluidity, flowing, the superpower to change perception, paradigm, and processes in our growing willingness to live with and learn from the soil, the water, the wind, the land, and all its peoples, be they women, black, indigenous, POC, queer, trans, young, old, neurodivergent, differently abled, nursing, even the bodies we inhabit and the feelings contained therein, they are not to be feared. They are to be loved. These are our teachers and leaders in a sustainable global development, contributing to the movement to educate, resolve houselessness, and end poverty. The design of now and the future is multifaceted and interdisciplinary. Each and every raindrop has its own unique technology. Alone, each drop dries up in the sun, but in rivers, they flow together in sweet, sweet harmony. Now, let us set intentions for this space. Let us change our relationship to time. Rather than see it as something fleeting, we see ourselves as source. Ask yourself two questions as we are in this time together. What do we do with the time we have? What does change look like in me?
hope you have your answers. Hold them near and dear to your heart as we engage the rest of this day. We are responding to the unconventional challenges with a steady flow of innovation. Today, we honor the change makers and we continue to encourage one another to keep going. 